the amount Bitcoin miners earn gets cut in half? Well, this event is called Bitcoin Halving and will keep on happening until all 21 million Bitcoins are issued. But what is this halving and what does it mean for Bitcoin? Will Bitcoin disappear once all the coins are mined? Or is there a way to keep it going for years? Today, we will be explaining just that. But before we get started, welcome to Tales of Titans, the place where business and history come to life. So let's look at all you need to know about Bitcoin halving. To simply put it, every four years, the number of Bitcoins that miners receive for maintaining the network is halved. Currently, a new block is added to the network every 10 minutes, and the miners get a reward for carrying out these massive complex calculations. Starting from April, this reward will be cut in half. Now you might be wondering, why does this happen? Well, this was designed to give initial incentives while reducing inflation over time to ensure the network's longevity. This halving is linked to broader market cycles in the cryptocurrency world. Interestingly, even though the Bitcoin halving is a significant event, you won't find any mention of it in the original Bitcoin white paper by Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous guy who created Bitcoin itself. The only mention of a deflationary mechanism in the white paper is about adjusting the mining difficulty. This mechanism adjusts itself according to the speed of mining hardware and the number of people participating in the network. If Bitcoin is mined too quickly, it becomes harder to mine. And after the release of this white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto turned Bitcoin from an idea into reality, sharing the source code through a cyberpunk mailing list, primarily with avid computer enthusiasts. Later on, other deflationary mechanisms were also introduced, including a strict limit of 21 million Bitcoins. The halving, which happens every four years, is a part of these mechanisms. Oh, and by the way, the last Bitcoin halving is expected to happen in 2140. With that said, let's rewind a bit in time to make things a little clearer. Bitcoin was introduced in 2009, and since then we've experienced three halving events. The first halving occurred in 2012, reducing the reward for mining Bitcoin from 50 to 25 Bitcoins per block. This led to a significant shakeout of miners who were too leveraged, simplifying the mining landscape as the difficulty adjusted to become more manageable for the remaining miners. This self-correcting mechanism paved the way for Bitcoin's first major bull run a year later. The second halving happened in 2016, cutting the mining reward from 25 to 12.5 Bitcoins per block, which preceded another major bull run a year later. Then, in 2020, the reward halved again amid a surge in Bitcoin's popularity, triggering the third major price surge, pushing Bitcoin's value to an all-time high of around $70,000. Currently, miners receive about 900 Bitcoins per day, but this will halve to 450 in the next halving. The trend will continue, reducing the reward further in subsequent halvings, reaching a point where miners will earn less than one Bitcoin per block for the first time ever. Some speculate that the impact of these halvings will decrease over time and that the four-year cycle that has dominated the cryptocurrency market might eventually fade. However, until that change occurs, the pattern of halvings and subsequent bull runs remains a consistent theme in Bitcoin's history. As for preparing for the next halving, you don't really need to do anything specific. Just sit back, relax, and watch how it unfolds. Despite the skeptics and critics predicting doom for Bitcoin with each halving, the network continues to adjust, and history suggests that the cycle of halving and growth will likely persist. When we look at the events related to Bitcoin, putting them together gives us a really positive view, especially for investors. It paints a bullish picture. Historically, investing in Bitcoin just before a halving event has been the best time. Even the six months following a halving can be a good time to invest. This isn't just someone's opinion. It's actually about supply and demand. Every time the Bitcoin block reward decreases, the price of Bitcoin usually goes up significantly within the next year. This is because demand continues to rise while the supply becomes more limited. Now, while this doesn't immediately affect the price, we shouldn't overlook the long-term impact of Bitcoin halvings. These events are fundamentally bullish for Bitcoin. 
history has shown this to be true. For example, before the 2020 halving, there was speculation that Bitcoin's price could skyrocket to between $350,000 and $450,000 the following year. But remember, these price predictions are just guesses. People have all sorts of predictions, but they can be off the mark. For instance, there were predictions that Bitcoin would reach around $200,000 by 2024, around the time of the halving, but that didn't happen. Bitcoin is unpredictable. While we might think it will go in one direction, it doesn't always follow that path. For example, in November 2021, the price peaked at around $70,000. Many thought it would hit $100,000, but it didn't reach that. Despite not hitting these speculative targets, Bitcoin's price still saw a significant increase, more than 530% during the bull run after the 2021 halving. To put it into perspective, in 2012, the Bitcoin supply was 10.5 million. By the 2016 halving, it increased to 15.7 million. In 2020, we saw it reach 18.375 million. Fast forward to 2024, we're looking at a supply of about 19.7 million Bitcoins, which is nearly 97% of the total supply that will ever be available. By 2028, this number will edge up to 20.3 million, representing about 98% of all the Bitcoin that will ever exist. It's quite intriguing to see how these halvings impact the price of Bitcoin. For example, the stock to flow model, despite some criticism, has been a handy reference. It shows how Bitcoin's scarcity affects its price over time. Specifically, the dark purple areas on the model have historically signaled great buying opportunities for those seeking reasonably priced valuable Bitcoin. So why are these Bitcoin halvings so significant? Beyond the obvious financial excitement, they're crucial for the health of the Bitcoin network. They keep miners and all participants in line with a strict set of unchanged rules, ensuring the network's integrity and stability. That is why halving is crucial, because it reinforces why Bitcoin is such a great way to store value. Imagine owning something that becomes rarer over time. That's Bitcoin for you. So this means the halving process doesn't just reduce how many new Bitcoins are available, it also limits how many are available to buy. Typically, Bitcoin miners who earn Bitcoin as a reward for their work sell a lot of it, but after a halving, they can only sell half as much as before. This change impacts the market significantly. In the past, like during the first two halvings, the supply of Bitcoin available to buy actually went up because miners were earning so much. However, this trend shifted in 2020. Since then, the available supply has been dwindling, making Bitcoin even rarer on exchanges. Right now, with over 19.5 million Bitcoins mined, less than 2 million are up for grabs on exchanges. That's a big deal. And after the 2020 halving, the available supply dropped by over 20%. While this happened, more and more people started holding at least one Bitcoin, suggesting they see its long-term value. Interestingly, 75% of Bitcoin hasn't moved in over a year, showing that many are in it for the long haul. So why does this matter? Halvings might be your best chance to buy Bitcoin at a good price. Prices tend to hit their lowest within six months after a halving. And remember, we're not going back to the days of 100, 1,000, or even $10,000 Bitcoins. Ignore the pessimists. Historically, halvings are prime times to buy Bitcoin. With that out of the way, everyone needs to keep in mind that this time, the next Bitcoin halving coming in April, there are new elements at play. Like the Bitcoin ETF, which links Bitcoin more closely with the stock market's movements. As a result, Bitcoin's behavior as a predictive tool might become less reliable over time. We're seeing signs that the opportunity to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies at reasonable prices might be closing soon, possibly within the next nine months. The upcoming 2024 halving could bring something different. With growing interest in Bitcoin, each halving event has its unique aspects, yet there's a familiar pattern too. Experts, including Kathy Woods, think this time will be distinct. That's because the block reward reduction in April will mean that the amount of Bitcoin mined annually will fall below 1% of the total supply for the first time. This change will make Bitcoin's supply growth rate lower than that of gold, positioning Bitcoin as a more valuable store of value. The introduction of the Bitcoin ETF has also made owning Bitcoin easier than ever, potentially bringing more investment into the market. Moreover, the advancement 
Bitcoin Layer 2 technologies like Ordinals, the Lightning Network, and Rootstock are playing a role in reducing the available Bitcoin supply by enabling its use on these secondary networks. Well, that's all folks. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more amazing content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.